In this video we will be unboxing the AMD FX 8150 8-core processor. So yes, AMD's Bulldog processors have been finally released and are met with, a, met with a very mixed response. Some people said they were really good, other people, or the overwhelming thing was many people said they didn't like them and it didn't perform as well as the i7-2600K. However, this is still a very well good performing chip, especially if you're looking for extreme multi-threaded performance due to its 8 cores. So for things like video editing, this is a really good processor. So here's the box. It's actually a metal tin rather than a cardboard box. So on the front we can see a very nice thing with the AMD arrow, picture of the processor, obviously it's not got that on it in real life. AMD FX 8 core processor, black edition. On this side we can see the processor itself through a little holes, quite loose in there. FX 8 core processor, black edition, gives some information about it there. And you've got turbo core which is basically overclocks on demand, a bit like Intel's turbo boost. AMD logo down there. On the back we've got a seal for the box. And some more information about it. Just what's in the box, really. And on this side, it's saying that if you combine it with a Radeon graphics card, you'll get you know some better graphics performance. However, there's no problem using this with you know Nvidia graphics card or anything like that. Okay, so let's open this box. We need to break the seals on it. So one on the back there, and one on the side here, like that. Okay, so now we can open the box. So it comes out. That doesn't want to come off. There we go. Nice. Something called box this list. What a cool box this is. Okay, so next we see some stuff inside, so tip this out. So seems to be stuck. Okay. So first of all we get the AMD stock cooler, so we'll see what this one is. So this is the same sort of cooler design as you'll see from years ago, and in fact you can use AMD coolers from the last few years and they'll still all work on this latest processor. Um, you know, so AM2, AM2 plus AM3 they'll all work as long as they can carry the thermal output of this processor. This is actually quite a nice cooler, you've got a fairly small fan, however lots of fins and four nice big heat pipes. And also you can see here we've got a PWM fan so that'll allow it to be nice and quiet. So put that away in the box, get that over there, and here we've got some paperwork. So. AMD processor. Instead, you'll find in some stuff about warranties and a certificate of authenticity. Some pictures of different pockets, uh, sockets. There, so. Yeah, they're all there. And that's the sort of instruction manual leaflet thing for it. Here's a whole lot of stuff about the processor. So, this is one thing that's important. You need to upgrade your BIOS before you install the processor. Because lots of motherboards were made before this processor was released. They are compatible, however, you really should update your BIOS before you start using this processor in it. And I've got two of these, okay? And a little thing trying to sell you other stuff, such as their APUs and other graphics stuff. So basically a little sales leaflet. And the final thing in the box is the star of the show. The processor itself. So there it is, nice, very nice looking processor. Oh, this looks like a processor with the nice FX logo because they're finally using that branding. What I am noticing though is there's no case badge in here. There should be one, so I don't know if it's just fallen out or something, or I didn't get one for some reason. So it might turn up later. Don't know where it's gone. Okay, I found the case badge. It was inside this paper thing. It might have slipped out. There it is. Nice looking case badge. Camera doesn't want to focus on it, but it looks quite nice. Quite small, not too big, looks quite nice. Okay, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And you can also visit our website at review-this.org.